Hello guys, Synthetic Programming here with another video for you guys today. In today's video part 2 in our Learn Python series, Beginner to Expert, uh, today we're going to be talking about variables and data types. So a variable, just like a variable in math, is uh, some kind of name that we give a piece of data. We can store that piece of data in this other name. And uh, we do this in math all the time, like I just said. Um, uh, if you ever took an algebra class and you know that we call the function f, f of x, um, where x is the variable, so like f of x squared, uh, x would be the variable in f of x squared, f would be the function. And we're not going to talk about functions today, just variables. So up here, um, to store a variable in Python, I'm just going to write an example. Uh, we can call it a, we can call it b, we can call it c, we can call it uh, apple, um, anything. A variable can be called anything. Just for the purposes of this, I'm going to write variable, and I'm going to say equals, um, and let's set it equal to 10. So now variable is equal to the integer 10, the number 10. Uh, and now whenever I use variable somewhere else, if I type out variable, um, that's the same as me typing out this number 10, uh, because we're storing the number 10 in the name variable. Okie doke, so I'm going to leave that up there, and let's talk about the different types of data that we can store in a variable. So the first type of data we're going to talk about is a string, and a string is just like a word. Um, strings in Python are between quotes, so if we make a variable string, and we set that equal to double quotes or single quotes, depending on what you want to do, um, you can do single quotes and then use double quotes inside of the variable, um, or you can do double quotes the same way and use single quotes inside, like so, um, as text. But what we're going to do is just use uh, single quotes for this one. So we'll use single quotes and we'll type out the word hello. So now, hello is a string. And... We're going to call this string1 because there's two ways to make a variable. You can either make a variable like this with an equal sign. Um, you can say string1 equals hello, or if you want to make an empty string without anything in it to begin with, you can do string2 equals str, like this. So uh, this is another way to make a string. Um, you can see that these names can be whatever you want. I could change this to apple pie and this one to blueberry pie or, you know, anything. Uh, but string one has this data inside, hello. And string two um, is just empty, but it's still a string. Uh, that's how you can make an empty string. Next thing we're going to talk about is integers. So integers in Python are really easy to do. You don't have to do any fancy quotes or anything like that. We'll do integer one equals and we're going to type the number 10, just like we did up top. Um, again, any integer, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, we'll do 10 for this one. And the same thing uh, that you did above with string of uh, string 2, where we made an empty uh, variable, you can do the same thing here, um, where we do integer 2 equals int, like this. Uh, so now integer 2 is an empty integer space. Um, but you can just store data like a 10 or a 5 or an 182. You can store that inside of integer. So a float is a little bit different than an integer, but it's still a number. A float in Python is, uh, is just any kind of number with a decimal in it. So for example, if we do float1, we can set that equal to 1.1. Or we can set it to 10.0. Um, Anything that has a decimal in it, Python needs to know it's a different type of data because it's got this decimal inside. And when Python uh, tries to interpret that, uh, they don't want to interpret it as an integer because integers, this is not a real, you know, a, a decimal is not a number. So Python needs to know it's a different type of data to know how to handle this little decimal. And uh, same way we did above, uh, we can make a float too and, oops float2, and just set that equal to float, like this. Um, the next type of data in Python we're going to go over is a boolean. Now a boolean is pretty special. A boolean just takes one of two values. It can either be true or it can be false. And you can set 
a boolean just like this. You can just write out true, make sure it's capitalized, or you can write out false. And these are going to be really useful later for logic. So uh, if we said boolean1 equal to false, we can also, like we did above, set boolean2 equal to a bool, like this. And that's how you make an empty Boolean that will eventually hold a value, but you don't want it to hold a value just yet. And we'll see applications of that later. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to make a list. Now, a list in Python is really interesting. Um, lists can hold any other data type, and they can hold uh, mixes of these data types. So it doesn't have to be one type of data in a list. So if we do list1 and set that equal to... This could be an empty list, like this. Um, we could also put values in here, two, three, four, and so on. Um, we can mix the data types, so we can have a one in here. Uh, we can have hello. Uh, we can have um, 1.78. Um, we can mix all the different data types and put them in here. In fact, we can even put a boolean in there. So see, as many data types as you want can go in a list, and a list is made with square brackets, and it just contains all of these different data types. But it can contain only one data type, or two, or three. Um, we can also, like I mentioned, we can set an empty list like this, with empty square brackets, or we can type list, like this. And, uh, and this I prefer to do because it's better convention to type out just list uh, because it looks kind of stupid to just have an empty list like this. So I always type out list like this. It's a better convention. The next type of data we're going to talk about is a dictionary. Uh, a dictionary in Python is pretty interesting as well. Um, if we do dictionary1, uh, we can set that equal to curly brackets like this. Um, it looks like sets almost, so a curly bracket is how to make a dictionary, and a dictionary is cool because you can look up the values inside of it. And uh, we're going to talk about that in more detail later, but uh, this is just how to make a dictionary, and the values inside of a dictionary will look like this. Uh, maybe you have some text like um, a name, we'll say Tom, and uh, you put a colon, and then you can put Tom's age, which we're going to say is... 23. Uh, you can do a comma, and then you can say um, Sally, and Sally's age is going to be 78. And then you can get these values out of the dictionary by typing the same name of the dictionary and uh, putting some square brackets after it, and you can actually just type in Tom like this. And now this value is equal to 23, because we just looked up Tom's age through the dictionary. Again, we're going to go over that in more detail later. Um, you can also, like, oh, dictionary1, but we're going to call this one dictionary2, can also be made like this, dict. Uh, so dict will make an empty dictionary. And a tuple is cool as well. Now a tuple is anything, any kind of... Uh, data that's stored within uh, round parentheses. And I'll show you that in a sec. So we'll call tuple1 um, a tuple like this. So again, the, you just use parentheses. And inside you can put coordinate pair, 1, 2. Uh, you can put as many stuff, uh, as many pieces of data in here as you want, just like a list, except it's special because unlike a list, um, you can use tuples to set multiple values to things. So I will show you an example of that now. So if we have four and seven in here, actually we'll make it easier, we'll put a different data type, four and hello, and then I say a comma b equals tuple one. What this does is it sets the value of a to four and the value of b to hello. And that's why tuples are so useful, because if you return a tuple and you, you're working with tuples, you can set all of the variables in a one line uh, equal to that tuple. So again, just like our other data types, we can set a tuple 2 with tuple, like this. 
So those are the main data types in Python. There are some other ones. Hello. Um, sorry, there's some other um, data types. And the other data types in Python are um, a little more complicated and not used as much. These are the main ones you're going to be seeing. Um, I wouldn't consider uh, using any other data types um, for simple projects. The other kinds of data, for example, there are complex numbers. Um, you know, numbers that are uh, on the real and non-real number lines. That's a little bit complicated. Uh, scientific notation numbers, there's those as well. Uh, but these are the numbers that we're going to, or sorry, these are the data types that we're going to be using for our, uh, for our course. So just focus on these ones, and, uh, and those are the ones that you should be practicing with and working with. Um, thank you guys so much. That's going to conclude uh, episode number two of our Learn Python Beginner to Expert series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. And next time, we're going to be talking about uh, basic operations and different ways to set things equal. I know we talked about basic operations in the first um, lesson, except now instead of just talking about math like arithmetic, we're going to be talking about how to do operations with variables and uh, how to set things equal in different, more efficient ways. Thank you guys so much. You can click here for that episode now, and I will see you guys in the next one. Like I said, peace.